Good day folks, Sean here from Air Photography. So today DJI released a brand new action camera, the Osmo Action 4, and it is a very compelling action camera and one you may want to consider. In today's video, we're going to go over the features of each camera. I have 21 reasons why you would want to choose the Osmo Action 4, and there's seven reasons why you may want to choose a Hero 11 Black. It's all going to depend on your filming needs. So we're going to break it down quickly. We don't want this video to go on too long. We're going to start with the Osmo Action 4 and 21 reasons why you may want to purchase it over the Hero 11 Black. The first reason is it has a brand new imaging system that features a 1 over 1.3 inch sensor. So we all know the bigger the sensor, the better the image quality and low light capabilities. And the low light capabilities are far superior than that of the Hero 11 Black. Now no action camera does great in low light scenarios, but the Action 4 does quite a bit better. On top of that, it also allows for better stabilization in low light scenarios. Again, stabilization requires a lot of light to be really good, but the Action 4 can do a fairly good job even in dimly lit environments. The second reason is, just like its predecessors, it features a magnetic mounting system, and that makes it super simple to transfer from mount to mount very quickly. If you're a person who's going to be moving your camera to multiple mounts in a short period of time, it saves you having to fumble with thumb screws and finger mounts. You can just move it as quick as can be. It works very well, it's very secure, and it's very convenient. So the third reason is the DJI Osmo Action 4 does not overheat when recording at 4K 60 frames per second. Now of course if you're in an extreme environment like a hot desert, perhaps maybe it will, but everyday filming it will not overheat. Whereas my GoPro Hero 11 Black, usually it will overheat at 4K 60 at around the 27 minute mark, sometimes 28 minutes, sometimes even less. 4K 60 is quite often what I'm filming in, so having a camera that doesn't overheat when filming in 4K 60 is very important to me. And that leads us into reason number four, and that is just better thermals all the way around. The camera not overheating in 4K 60 also translates into, say, 4K 120. The Osmo Action 4 can record a lot longer in those higher frame rates than a GoPro. So if overheating issues are a concern of yours, definitely the Action 4 is the better camera to choose. Reason number five is better battery life. The Osmo Action 4 is rated to record for 160 minutes. Now, of course, that's going to depend on what resolution and frame rate you're filming at. But the battery does last a fair amount longer than a GoPro. Now, both batteries have cold recording temperature, so in that aspect, I'd say they're fairly even. You can record about the same amount of time in cold weather. Now, reason number six is again to do with the batteries, and that is that the Osmo Action 4 supports quick charging. You can charge up the batteries from empty all the way to 80% in 18 minutes. So that can be very important in some scenarios. If you've run out of power, you can get up and filming very quickly again. Now, reason number seven why the Osmo Action 4 has the advantage over a GoPro and that is that it has a wider field of view. The maximum field of view on the Osmo Action 4 is 155 degrees, whereas on the Hero 11 Black, it's 151. So if field of view is a priority for you, definitely the Osmo Action 4 is the better choice. Now, a small reason why you may want to choose the Action 4 over the Hero 11 Black is just that it is a little bit smaller. Now, it isn't by much, but in some circumstances, that size and bulk can make a big difference. Now, another important reason why you may want to choose the Action 4 over the Hero 11 Black is that the Action 4 actually comes with a built-in color temperature sensor. It's located right in the O of action on the front, and that can allow for extremely accurate colors. It can help prevent flickering and shifting, even when used underwater. Now, reason number 10 for choosing the Action 4 over a GoPro. Again, this is not going to be important for everybody, but it supports time code editing. So you can have time code embedded into the file. So if you're going to be shooting with multiple cameras, whether it be multiple Action 4s or other cameras that support time code editing, you can bring them into your editor and they're easy to sync up. And that's great for features like LumaFusion if you're editing on an iPad using their new multicam feature. Again, that's not going to be important to everybody, but if you are going to be shooting multiple angles on multiple cameras, that definitely is an important feature. Now, reason number 11 is an important feature for a lot of people, and that is you can plug a microphone directly into the Osmo Action. You don't need to use any type of adapters or media mods, and that includes the DJI wireless microphone, Rode microphones, even a USB-C lavalier. You can just plug it directly into that USB-C port. With a GoPro, you do have to use their microphone adapter 
or the media mod, which can be fairly expensive. On top of that, then you have to use some sort of frame to mount your microphone. Whereas with the Action 4, you can just plug the DJI wireless mic right into the side. You don't need any adapters or frames. You don't need any cold shoes. It just works and it works very well. Now, reason number 12 is that the Osmo Action features a full touch screen. The GoPro has a front screen as well for lining up your shots and showing you some information, but it's not a touch screen. You can't change any settings. Now, ideally, you want to change your settings on the back screen because you do have much more real estate and it's easier to do. But sometimes you have your camera mounted where that's just not convenient. So being able to go in and change all your settings from the front screen is definitely a great feature. Now, another great feature of the Osmo Action 4 is the quick switch feature. That allows you to cycle through all your modes very quickly. The nice thing about the quick switch feature is that it's very customizable. You can include what you want in there, including custom modes that you make. So that makes changing settings underwater or in water very easy. Now the GoPro has a similar button, the mode button on the side that will cycle through, but it will only go through the three default shooting modes, photos, videos, and time-lapse. You can't add any custom modes to it and you can't customize what else it does and displays. So definitely the Osmo Action 4 has the advantage when it comes to that quick switch button. Now another great feature of the Osmo Action 4 compared to the GoPro Hero 11 Black is the ability to set denoising and you actually have five levels of sharpening. With a GoPro you are able to adjust your sharpening level but it only offers three levels of sharpening. But with the Osmo Action 4, we actually have five different levels of sharpening that we can set. So we can dial it into exactly what we want. But on top of that, we have three levels of noise reduction. That's just not available on a GoPro. Now, reason number 15 why you may want to choose the Action 4 over the Hero 11 Black is that this camera is easily mounted vertically. If you use the included frame, you can go from horizontal to vertical just by using the magnetic mounting system. It's quick and efficient, and it just works really well. With a GoPro, if you do want to get true vertical video, other than using their cropping, you do have to buy a third-party mount or frame that allows for vertical filming, whereas you can do it natively right out of the box with the Action 4. Now, another small but important feature is that with the Osmo Action 4, all the menus are in vertical format. So if you have your Osmo Action mounted vertically, you can easily get to all your settings. Everything is in complete vertical format. With a GoPro, it's a little bit different. They only offer half of their menu system in vertical. For example, we can swipe down. That is in vertical. We can swipe over to go to our main settings. But as soon as we go into them, they jump back to horizontal. So then you have to flip your camera around. And if it's mounted vertically, that's not really convenient to do. Now, you don't always have to go into these settings to change it, so it's not going to be important to everybody. But it's just a nice touch that the Action 4 has all their menu systems vertically for easy navigation. Now, reason number 17 why you may want to choose an Action 4 over the Hero 11 Black is that this is natively waterproof all the way down to 18 meters. You don't have to use any housing, whereas the Hero 11 Black, it's rated for 33 feet, which is just over 10 meters. So you can go a lot deeper with your Action 4 without the need of waterproof housing. The reason number 18 why I think the Action 4 is a better choice is the battery charging case that you can purchase for it, or that comes with some of the combos. It has a lid, so it will keep your battery secure inside. It supports fast charging, and it has a spot for two memory cards in the top of the lid. But the best thing about it is you can plug it right into a power bank, throw it in a backpack, and charge on the go. Now, GoPro has an official charger for their batteries as well, and it works well but it doesn't support fast charging, so the batteries charge a lot slower, and you cannot throw it into a backpack while connected to a power bank. Just due to their new design, the batteries would just jostle loose. Now, reason number 19 is more of a personal reason, but I just really like the menu system better on the Osmo Action compared to the Hero 11 Black. I just find everything is just more intuitive and natural. The menu systems are nice and large and easy to navigate. With a GoPro, if you want to change your resolution, you have to click on the pill button at the bottom, then select the mode. Or you can long press on it, and that'll take you right in, but then you still have to go in and choose your resolutions and then out of there, and then out of there again. Where's the Osmo Action 4? You just swipe up and they're all right there. And that's for a lot of the other settings as well. It's just very simple and easy to navigate. So again, that's going to be personal preference, but in my opinion, I think it's just a more fluid system. Now, reason number 20 why you may want to choose the Osmo Action 4 is that it supports free third-party stabilization software. 
gyro flow. So if you're going to be using this on something like an FPV drone or a mountain bike and you just want really, really smooth footage, instead of using the built-in stabilization, you can use GyroFlow, which is free, unlike a GoPro where you do have to pay a fee. So again, that's not going to be important to everybody, but it is a nice feature. And lastly here, reason number 21, is that the Osmo Action 4 supports larger file sizes. The file sizes on the Action 4 can be up to 17 gigabytes in size. So if you're a person who's doing long recordings, that's less files that you have to merge back together. The Hero 11 Black does support large file sizes compared to what they used to, but it is a maximum of 12 gigabytes, so not quite as big. Not Again, not important to everybody, but definitely something to make note of. Now let's move over to the Hero 11 Black because it does have some impressive features that might make this the right choice for you. One of my favorite features of it is its 8x7 sensor. That allows you to film in an aspect ratio of 8x7. And the reason why that is important, if you are a person who films for multiple platforms, such as YouTube, but you also film for Instagram Reels, Shorts, that sensor is almost a perfect square. So you can crop it to either a 16 by 9 or a 9 by 16. So that allows you to export in multiple formats without having to choose to film in vertical or horizontal. So that can be a really important feature. The second reason is GoPro has a lot of nice built-in night modes. They have star trails, light painting, vehicle lights, it just makes it very easy if you want to capture some really interesting footage at night, especially when in the time-lapse mode. Now that is just software, but the Osmo Action 4 doesn't really have that. Now they could add it in a future firmware update, but for now GoPro definitely has the edge when it comes to preset night modes. Another nice option that the Hero 11 Black has that the Osmo Action 4 doesn't have is when you export your photos in RAW, you also export them as a JPEG as well. So you get both. Whereas the Osmo Action 4, you have to choose JPEG or RAW. You don't get to choose both. Now the next is again to do with photos. GoPros give you more options for exporting your photos. You can export as a super photo, an HDR, a normal photo, or again, you can choose RAW. Whereas the Osmo Action is a little bit limited in that department. So if you're a person who takes a lot of photos with your GoPro, again, it might be a better choice because you can have more flexibility in how you export it and the type of photo it takes. Now, both cameras do a good job at slow motion. However, with a GoPro, you do get higher frame rates at a higher resolution. Both cameras can do 4K 120, but with a GoPro, you can actually do 2.7K at 240 frames per second, Whereas the Osmo Action, if you want to film at 240 frames per second, the max resolution is 1080. So if you're a person who's going to be filming a lot of slow motion and you want the highest resolution possible, definitely the GoPro is the camera to choose. Another nice feature of the Hero 11 Black is that it has GPS built-in standard. So if you want GPS telemetry data, it's already there right out of the box. You can do GPS with the Action 4, but you do have to purchase their new GPS remote. So it is an extra expense. Whereas mentioned, the GoPro, it's just already built into the camera right out of the box. Now, the seventh reason where I think GoPro has a little bit of an edge is to do with stabilization. Now, both cameras have excellent stabilization. I would say they're pretty well equal. They have different levels of stabilization depending on your needs. With GoPro, if you want the best stabilization, you can turn on Boost. With the Action 4, you can turn on Rocksteady Plus. But with the GoPro, they have a feature called Auto Boost. And what that does is it only uses that extra stabilization if it thinks it needs it. And the reason that is beneficial is that it's not going to be as cropped in because as you turn on higher stabilization levels the image crops in fairly significantly so with auto boost it'll keep a nice wide field of view if it thinks it needs some extra stabilization it will then crop in smoothly you don't even really notice it do its stabilization and, if, and then if it's no longer needed it will kind of crop back out a bit so that is definitely a nice feature if you're a person who's looking for really good stabilization but you want the widest field of view possible. In my humble opinion, I think the Action 4 is definitely the better buy at this point in time. It's a great action camera. I've been really happy with it. I do have a full review of it on my YouTube channel. Now, lastly, before I go here, I kind of got a couple bonus that I didn't include in that list, and that is to do with the app. Both have really good apps, but they offer different features. But one feature of the GoPro app is that when you want to use it as a remote, it won't launch the live preview, so it doesn't have to connect to the GoPro Wi-Fi. So you can just launch it and it's automatically connected, and you can just go ahead and use it as a remote. Whereas the Action 4, in order to use it as a remote, you do have to connect to the Wi-Fi, which takes an extra step and can take a little longer. The Osmo Action 4 has the Mimo app, and it has the advantage in the fact that when you are filming, 
you can actually get a live preview after you hit record. And that can be very beneficial in some scenarios. Whereas the GoPro, you get a live preview, but as soon as you hit record, that live preview quits. If there's a feature that I missed or something a potential new buyer should know, make sure you post that down in the comments. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Hopefully you found it had value. Give it a thumbs up if you did. It's always greatly appreciated. And we'll see you in the next one.